Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Jeff with Barn and Home. I bought a mud mixer right here. Uh, picked it up for $2,000 at a rental, uh, like a hardware store that rents stuff. So I felt like it was a pretty decent deal, better than paying full retail. But this is my first time giving this a go. Uh, full disclosure, I'm a barn builder. I don't do concrete specifically for a living, but we usually sub that out. But I got a couple guys helping me out. We're gonna show you the little uh, pour that we're gonna do. So if we can pull this off, I think anybody else can, but let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So we're ready to fire this guy up and you can see we got our forms in the ground. I went with a funky shape because I'm really just trying to do a front step. I don't want this fancy. I'm not even interested in perfection. I'll say out the gate, I'm very impressed with professional concrete guys. There is a real science to pouring good quality concrete. But for our purposes, this is all we're doing. We got this mud mixing machine. You can see here on the right side, you've got the red button. That is gonna make the auger move either forward or backwards if it gets clogged up. You might have to backtrack it. The little dial controls the amount of water flow and that water is gonna mix inside this chamber here. It is gonna mix with your dry concrete. I was tested it out to see if I could notice a difference in the amount of water going in there. Depending on the weather, and this was a super hot afternoon, so we wanted the pour to come out pretty wet, but dump the bags in dry. Don't grab the hose like I did and put water up here in the uh, chute because it'll clog it up. Just dump it in dry and let it mix down through that auger. This thing will rotate. For the size of the pour we did, we didn't need to rotate it. We did move it around a little bit. I would say 50 square feet, 100 square feet is where you're gonna max this whole project out. You can watch a lot of other YouTube videos with more talented concrete guys out there and they'll give you some other tips on how to use this machine. But I think we kind of liked it as we once we kind of got in the rhythm here and figured out how this little boy worked. Get what you pay for, concrete. That was the first name of the company. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so once you are leveled up to the edge of your form, you're gonna grab that screeding tool. The two by four is the uh, main go-to, and you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth with the two by four, make it nice and flat. If you wanna keep it flat, do that. Or if you want a rough textured finish, you're gonna grab your wife's broom out of the hall closet bring it on out here and you can see that I went with the artistic lines following the curvature and that's pretty much it by the way listen if you're a professional concrete guy I'm not interested in your big fancy opinions on my front step because I'm the only guy stepping on it here and I didn't mind it looking rough I don't need perfection this is a couple hundred dollar project and really all we wanted was a step to step on to get onto the front porch. If I don't like the rough texture here with some of those aggregates in the stones basically um, kind of coming up there, we can always get a grinder and grind it off. But ooh, satisfying right there, that nice smooth brush mark. After that was finished, I grabbed the old broken level and tried to add some type of an edge on there. Pretty simple. Not too big of a deal, guys. Use whatever you got. Like I said, get what you pay for concrete. All right, so as you can see, this is a total do-it-yourself uh, project. I mean, literally, we used you know a broken level for a screed, and uh, I'm just putting a little edge on right here uh, with this as a, as a leftover tool. Just couldn't find a couple of missing uh, handy tools that you would usually use on a product like this. But bottom line, we got $250 in bags of sackcrete, you know, about a day chopping up the ground, messing around, getting everything all put together. So in the end, for a few hundred bucks, I think it was well worth it. And the mud mixer, everybody gave it a thumbs up. 
uh, including Blake. Uh, Blake was uh, on a concrete crew for about a year and a half, and he said it was super handy, way better than bucket mixing or using a tumbler. So there you go. Okay, folks, that is a wrap. Uh, hey, listen, a couple days later, am I happy with it? Yes, I love the shape. It's kind of quirky looking. A little bit rougher than maybe I did want, so I may grind it down, but I'm gonna put some concrete sealer on there, maybe add a little gray stain. And um, But it, can I step on it and get on the porch? Yep, I think it works. <laughs>